Hello everyone, welcome to host IT smart video tutorial. Today, we'll see how to upload website files using cPanel. First, log in into cPanel. Second, go to the file section below the email section. Then click on file manager and another tab will be opened with a lot of folders in it. You are now in the file manager window. Now locate the folder public underscore HTML and double click on it and the folder will open with no files in it. Now you need to upload the website file. Click on the upload option in the top and a new tab will be opened where you will get the option to select file. Click on the select file. If your website files are compressed as .zip format, upload the same from your computer. Once it is uploaded, click on go back. Now you can see the uploaded zip file. Click on the zip file and you can extract the file using the extract option located in the top right corner in the file manager. Now your website files can be seen in the public underscore HTML folder. Now go back to the cPanel. Under databases menu, click on MySQL databases. You will see the option of create new database. In the box below, enter the database name you want to create and click on create database. Now click on Go Back. Scroll down and under MySQL Users, enter your database username and password. You can generate a strong password using Password Generator. Click on Generate Password. Tick on I have copied this password in a safe place and click on User Password. Now click on Create User and your database user will be created. Scroll down and under Add User to Database option, Select the user and database you want to map. Now click on Add. Tick the option of All Privileges and click on Make Changes. By doing this, you are giving full permission to the user on the database. Click on Go Back. Now go back to the cPanel by clicking on the cPanel in the top left corner. Under Databases option, click on the PHP My Admin. Now the PHP My Admin is opened in a new tab. Using this, you can import the database backup to the newly created database. Click on the database listed in the left menu. Now click on the import option. Click on choose file and select the database backup which will be in .sql format or in a compressed format. File may be compressed in gzip or bzip2 or zip format. Select the file and click on open. Now you've selected the database file to upload. Scroll down and click on the button Go and your database backup will be imported in the database created. Now check your website and you can see your website is now live if you've already pointed your name servers. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like and share this video. For more information or support, please email us at info at hostitsmart.com.